What's up, guys? John and my beautiful wife, Sharice, here. Hi, guys. Sunday here in Tampa, Florida, and guess where we're at? The Tampa Bay Comic Convention. Because I'm a big comic freak, right? I love comics. I love the, the movies that they make out of the comics. But I used to be a big comic reader when I was a little kid. So when I go in these places, it's like my own version of Disneyland, right? They have all the different comics out there, characters, everybody's dressing up, getting in the spirit. So I like that too, man. It's really, really cool. It's almost like another uh, Halloween. And one day, <laughs> just here, the three days that it went on, because it was going on Friday, Saturday, and today's Sunday. So come along with us. We're going to go check out what's left, because we're here at the end of the day on Sunday. And uh, see who we can talk to, see who pictures we can get a, a picture with, and uh, have some fun. So let's go. Let's go check it out. So if you guys have not, don't know who this guy is, you probably should watch Breaking Bad, right? Better Call Saul, and all the great other movies that he's been in. Oh, yeah. From villainous to good guy, this guy has definitely covered a ton of different roles. So he's definitely not a typecast character at all. <laughs> so God bless you, man. Good That's job. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I, got, I brought my super rare comic book, right? It was a Wolverine one. And... Um, they crack the case on it, which is a, a, it's like a, a gamble, because when they crack the case, you got to send it back in for grading, and that grade could be lower than what you got possibly. You never know what's going to happen with the graders. And uh, luckily, it came back another 9.8, and I had pretty much everybody's signature. I was missing one, and they were going to take it to New York and get it signed, but I was like, ah, I just want this to go in and get graded. I don't like to gamble any more than I was, and I was freaking out the whole time until I got the comic back graded at 9.8. Because the value between maybe a 9.6 and 9.8 is tremendously big, right? It's, it's huge. <laughs> Give a big shout out to Tampa PD here for protecting all of us all the time, everywhere. Big guys. shout out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> all right, so that's a wrap. 2023 Tampa Comic Convention here at the Tampa Convention Center. You know my beautiful wife here, Sharice? Hey, hey. We had a great time walking through all the aisles, seeing all the cool stuff. Definitely a blast for 2023. We'll be back next year for 2024. Join us next year if you need to get to see the Tampa Comic Convention here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. We'll see you then. Have a good one. See you then. What is natural? I get this question all the time, guys. It's a really, really funny question. Um, but it's a serious question that I think some people really want the answer to. So let's start breaking it down and maybe it'll make sense to you as it makes sense to me. But maybe it might not. Who knows? That's the best thing. We have a difference of opinion, but we can agree on some different things hopefully. So let's get into it. What's natural? So natural is anything that's natural to the body. Now when we start breaking down all these things because, you know, in the business that we're in, you know, there is HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Now hormone replacement therapy should be more natural to the body than people think, right? Now, a lot of people would say, well, testosterone, it's steroids. Steroids are not natural to the body. But when we really start looking at things and really start breaking down things, testosterone is natural to the body. Free and total testosterone levels really generate how we feel as far as energy, uh, libido wise, and brain function too as well. And this is both males and females. We just have them at different levels, right? So a male might need more testosterone than a female may need, but we both need testosterone and it both works the exact same way in both of our bodies. So it is natural to our body per se, right? So when we talk about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, this should be bioidentical to your body's hormones. So it is more natural than more people think that it is. I could see how it could be unnatural too, because you're, you know, you're taking outside source of testosterone and you're putting it inside the body. Okay, I understand that. But let's talk about vitamins, right? Or amino acids. Vitamins and amino acids are natural to the body, right? Too, even if it's injectable, which we offer to a lot of our patients and it has a big benefit to it. Higher absorbency, faster transportation rate. That means you take in more that you put into the body and it gets into the body a lot quicker than any oral supplementation out there. And I've talked to a lot of natural guys out there that are natty or girls. 
and they, you know, they take a multivitamin or different powders as too as well. Is that natural? Is it more natural than an injectable version? Why? Let's break it down. Maybe you guys have some comments put underneath this video so we can read them and we can all talk about it. That's what we're here to do. Share viable, good information, not bad information. So if you guys are seeing some of these different things, start commenting. But when I'm talking about natural to unnatural, majority of things that we're taking in are natural. And if you're taking in supplementation, whether it's oral or injectable, it's natural to the body as long as your body needs it. So non-essential and essential amino acids. When we talk about essential amino acids, these are things that are not made inside the body. So you need to get them from an outside source. Now, the most natural way to get this is by food. Yes, I agree with all you guys out there. But to get the necessary nutrition that we need of these things, it might be a little bit hard for the average day person. This is where outside supplementation really comes into play. And think about it. When you're 40 or 50 years old, we know your testosterone is going to decline and it's going to be going down, nose diving. And at that point, you're not going to feel your best every single day. And this could affect your quality of life, how you feel, you're irritable, you're gaining weight, you're not sleeping, all these different things. So if we were to replace this with a natural level of testosterone, wouldn't that be natural? I don't know. Let's talk about it. I want you to think about it and please comment on here. And what do you think is natural? Because you just heard my opinion, so I want to hear yours. Let's hear it down underneath this video. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Wow! Big shout out! Uh, Look at it! Thank you, thank you. True! And it's fruit. True! Fruit! fruit. Uh, the wait, edible arrangements! Hold on, hold on. We didn't just get no fruit now. Sorry, guys. So we had a surprise big Drew. This little cake. This is great. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Your card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like, oh man, I'm in here saying happy thank birthday. You. He thought we forgot. This is my sister right there, yes, guys. This is my I'm brother right there. Happy birthday, guys. This is my family right there. I appreciate right. you guys. Love Drew. Yes, of course. That fruit's going to come in handy at the pool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. We'll we'll get get cards thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There's just cards in here too. You read this afterwards. Yeah, I'll read it after. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm talking about. Yes. Came out nice. Yeah. Okay. You'll love that. It's a nice sure. little piece of cake Happy right there. Birthday. Look at this little birthday boy right here. <laughs> Sorry, yes. guys. Had to have him come in and surprise you on the live. I thought it'd be awesome to capture. Right? Thank you. Yeah, it was good. good. Yeah, it was perfect. That was, that was good. I'm not, let's let's put this down for real quick and we'll continue on with you guys. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are here for another tight medical movie review just for you. Tonight we've seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and we were missing our son for this one because it was the animated version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and it was the reboot. But this was pretty cool all the way all in all. The last animated movie that i seen was uh, Into the Spider-Verse and that just blew my mind. Yeah, this wasn't on that level but it was pretty good and the animation was ridiculous. I mean, the way these animated movies are going these days, I mean, it's really, really awesome. So it was great. I mean, I think it captured the characters that we all love, right? The Ninja Turtles. Um, you know, I think Splinter, they could have did a little bit better bit of deal with. Uh, yeah, they made Splinter look a little weak. And Splinter's always been really like, you know, like a baddie, you know? He's like, yeah, but I mean, of course they gotta squeeze it in there. You gotta go see it for yourself, but you know, they could have done a little better with the splinter. Yeah. 
I mean, it was cool. It incorporated a whole bunch of other villainous characters that you will love if you love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it bring back a whole bunch of memories of the old cartoons back in the day. I think that's what it kind of reminded me of too a little bit. Um, so it will take you back to your childhood memories if you lived through the Ninja Turtles like I did. And uh, I think you're going to have a good time with you and your kids or you know, if you and your girlfriend just want to go see an animated movie, which I, mean, listen, I don't know how many girls even, are going to want to, but... Listen, even if you don't, for the girls out there, okay, even if you don't want to see an animated movie, which I did was like, what do you mean it's an animated movie? Yeah, if you don't want to see it, it's still a good animated movie to watch because yeah. it has a lot of colors yeah. and there's all kinds yeah. of things going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of not boring because there's stuff going on. Yeah. Even if you weren't, like, actually paying attention to the movie, I was. But if you weren't, it would still be kind of cool because you're like looking at stuff. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was a fun movie. It had action. It wasn't slow. That's the main thing. So go out and check it out. I'd give it a. I'd give it like a. I'd give it a four point two. Generosity. Four point two. Generosity. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a two point seven. Wow, that's pretty low. The animation was good. <laughs> oh, you got a two point seven. The animation was really good. <laughs> so. Yeah. Got 2.7 because I was with my husband. Just go see it. Oh, wait. I brought it down? Is that what you're saying? No, because I like it. Oh, is it. that what I got a 2.7? It would have got like a 1.2 if it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't say the GH Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you're lucky. You're like, you're hey, all these movies, producers, and everybody's behind these things, you're pretty lucky that she don't go on Rotten Tomatoes. Man. She just give you guys horrible ratings. But listen, it was a fun movie, so if you want to have fun when you're at the movies, go ahead and check it out. So that is another Titan Medical movie review just for you guys. And we will be reviewing many more awesome movies to come. So we'll see you guys in the next Titan Medical movie review very soon. See you then. So my birthday is coming up in two weeks. And I will be 51 years old. Don't let the gray hair fool you. But I will be 51. I feel about 26 though. Today is my yearly checkup at Titan Medical Center, so just come here to check everything out, keep myself healthy and shape and active. It's always a pleasure to come around and see my Titan family. I enjoy seeing them and it's a beautiful thing. All my therapies, they're going as planned. I'm feeling better each and every day. I'm feeling my energy levels through the roof. The ECA stack is just ridiculous. The Hercules, my favorite obviously, keep me pumped, keep my pump going. Uh, Titan Complete, the B12, everything, just keep me young, keep me looking young, feeling young. I recommend anyone and everyone to jump on these Titan products. It will definitely improve your life, improve your health, and just get your blood work done, see what's going on with you on the inside, because it's more important to look good on the inside and the outside as well. Blood work is very, very important because you always need to know what's going on on the inside of your body and you can't see that physically. So with the blood work, you know all your levels, make sure your testosterone levels, your estrogen levels, every level you have in your body is being checked thoroughly through a doctor. And it's, it's always a good thing. You need to know what's going on with your body. And if it's something wrong, you can easily fix it most of the times. I've been with Titan now for going on, it seems like nine or 10 years, but it's been a long time. I've been enjoying Enjoying the ride, enjoying the journey, uh, and I thank them for keeping me healthy, keeping me on track, keeping me accountable, and uh, hey, you see it. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right guys. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here are going to give you guys some great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully up your relationship to whole new levels by igniting those flames or maybe working on some things that might need to be worked on, right? Yeah. And if you're not in a relationship, you'll have this great information so when you go into your future relationship, 
It'll be right there when you need it, and you can pull it out and use it. Yep, just put it right there. <laughs> See your log box. So um, let, let's get started on the topic of today. So the topic of today is hormones and how they can affect the relationship, both on a guy's side and a girl's side, mm. right? Um, and you know what? It might not start off with this issue. It might start off with this issue. Who knows? But usually couples, if they, let's say, meet in their 20s, and they start dating and then marriage and then kids the whole nine there could be some issues with hormones in the late 20s or early 30s there was yeah right for females out there or even for males it just is a whole new uh crazy thing that's been happening with males and females and especially with all the sicknesses out there affecting different hormones right yeah for sure i mean it doesn't even matter the sicknesses we're talking about deodorants laundry detergents you know, just things that, that you're heating up your food yeah. in uh, plasticware in the microwave, like these weird things you would never think affect your hormones. I mean, it's ultimately like we're all doomed to have bad hormones. <laughs> hormones are messed up, so yeah. it's crazy. I, it's crazy, and, and the chemicals that Therese is talking about are EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals, and they're all around us. They're really in the environment that we breathe in. There are a lot of plastics uh, that we utilize for either food storage or even for drinking, right, like water bottles. Um, and there's a lot of different things out there that are going to affect your hormones on the inside. And we really don't get to see these hormones. It's not on the outside, right? So if we had like a broken arm, you could see a broken arm. And you could fix the broken arm because you can see where the problem's at, get it all adjusted, get it right, and then you're on your way to healing. Mm -hmm. With hormones, it's inside. So we really don't get to see inside of our body, right? We don't get to see really what's going on with our hormones or where they're at daily. Mm -hmm. Like when we look in the mirror every day when we wake up, we see our body and we're like, all right, cool, everything's fine. Even if there's a spot that's not supposed to be there and you've checked yourself, you're like, all right, I might need to go to the dermatologist and get this checked out. Mm -hmm. But for the inside, for hormones, you just got to feel bad. You might not even know you feel bad. You might not even know that these symptoms are hormone related because you're not educated in hormones. The average person really isn't. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. The average person today is a lot more in tune and inclined getting, to look into these different medical treatments for hormones. Yeah, more preventative medicine. But some people really don't know what's going on and it really can affect your personal life, your quality of life, and also your relationship. Big time. Big time. And we're not just talking about sexual relationships. Right. Literally talking about just being like crazy. Right. right. You know, when I met John, I was, I was, I mean, listen, I'm crazy. All right. We'll get it on recording. <laughs> I'm crazy. So I don't need any more crazy on top of the crazy. Right. So anyways, come to find out, I actually had a high estrogen issue. And you know, anybody has high estrogen, just think about a, a female on their menstrual cycle. But it was like that all the time, right? So it's like, you know, I would even, I would even put my shoe on and the shoe would fit wrong. And I'm like, ugh. And like, you know, I'd start screaming and huffing and puffing. And then, you know, I was being like almost bipolar. But I'm like, listen, I, I don't think I need any medications. I think something is seriously off, right? Yeah. Go check my hormones, come to find out yeah. it's my high estrogen. And it was, you know, it was, it was affecting our relationship because, you know, I was being crazy with him. You know, I was being mean and moody and, you know, plenty of other, you know, wonderful things that went with this, I'm sure. Your boy's a survivor. <laughs> survivor! He's a soldier! <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's it, I think it's important because, you know, obviously we all know that hormones can affect you and the bedroom and all that stuff. And, you know, we all think the bedroom is very important. But, you know, being able to communicate with one another, like, I really think if your hormones are off, this is guys and girls, right? If your hormones are off, it makes you feel very, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, it can make you feel a lot of different ways. Depressed, Sad, anxious, yeah. maybe short fused. Short fused. That's a big one. Irritable. Irritable. Like, because you could very be sensitive. very, very irritable. Or, yeah. yeah, maybe you'll start. Very sensitive. You'll be crying over something really, really, like, you shouldn't cry about. Yeah, I mean, guys are <laughs> crying over frisky commercials. And yeah. These, these little sap ads are on TV. Yeah, and then you're you know. you're looking at him like, what's your problem? He's like, it's just my allergies, you know. It's, it's just, I need some Zyrtec. No, 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 no. You need to get your hormones checked. Because you're acting crazy. So, yeah. you know, if you ever feel like anything's off, you know, obviously there's some very bullet point things that can point to yeah. being, you know, hormonally off. Um, outside of being just, I have no energy, I'm tired. And remember, having no energy, being tired, 
also affects the relationship because yep. then you don't want to do nothing, right? right? All you want to do is lay around and you don't want to go anywhere and you're tired. And you know me this morning, I was tired, you know, I was tired because I'm really tired and I just actually was not sleeping and I was working, but you know, my hormones are dialed in, thank goodness. But you know, it's like, you just don't want to do anything. Right. You literally don't want to do anything. So what if your partner's like out the door? Like, come on, let's go, let's go here, let's do this. Let's, yeah. let's go uh, anywhere, energy. you know, it's like, then you're not keeping up with them and then, you know, things can really fall off the bandwagon like that cool wick. It can put strains on the relationship. And, you know, if it happens for long extended periods of time, you know, the partner might be like, well, is it me? Or is it, you know, and what really is it? And, and why? You and, don't want to hang out with me. And then at that point, you know, like you're me. really starting to put a lot of strain on the relationship, right? And then how are you going to mend that? And the, the whole thing is, is that you need to, you know, repair yourself so you can repair the relationship. And that just happens. Even people that, um, you know, so obviously, you know, your sleeping patterns can be messed up because of hormones. You know, your weight gain or metabolism can be screwed up because of hormones. Your sexual function, your physical uh, state and uh, mental state can all be disrupted by hormones. Yeah, emotional. Um, emotional too, right? So, you know, even mentally, um, you know, so hormones can make you feel a different way. It could definitely off. make you, like, so you could have right? a scenario that takes place, right? And if your hormones are off, you can, versus your hormones not being yeah. off, you could treat that scenario two totally different ways. Yes. Just because of the way you're processing it. Yes. Right? Because the way that you maybe you're feeling if you had it dialed in and you weren't being so sensitive yeah. maybe you wouldn't have been so upset about yeah. it you know so it's it's important guys i feel like we've uh, kind of skipped over that we haven't talked about it in a while so I, yeah. you know it's telling That's john today topic. i'm like hey listen you know i think it's important because i get it all the time you know messages from guys specifically we have a you know a good nice little population of guys but specifically guys because they're like oh you know now I get to play I get to play with my kids and I feel like my whole life has changed and I'm going to work and I actually want to go to work you know mm -hmm. I'm motivated to go do stuff and I want to hang out with my wife and finally like, better in the bedroom and you know just mentally you know, I mean once you start to really get better and feel better it just kind of takes you off and you get you get to get to go off to the races quality of life improves all the way around mm -hmm. for you and then when that happens for others that are around you it, it, yeah it spreads it, it's contagious right the positivity can be contagious or negativity can be contagious so in both ways in life so at that point you're really enhancing your life and you're enhancing the life of the people you love that are around you and that's really important I mean even if you have you know you have a relationship and hopefully that relationship just keeps progressing progressing and you guys get into a marriage and kids and the whole nine where these, these energy disruptions uh, or you know short fuse situations can not only affect your wife and your loved one, but your kids too as well, mm -hmm. right? And you know kids, they need a little bit more patience than adults do, I think, in a life because they might not know what's right or wrong in situations. You might have to correct them. And uh, you know when you're correcting an adult, it's a little bit more harsher, right? Because they should know right from wrong. But when you're talking to a kid, you know you, you got to take that in consideration. Sometimes. I mean, I've done it before where, you know, I've, I've corrected Peter and, you know, it wasn't because my hormones were off. It was just because I treat him like an adult. So, you know, I tell him that, you know, he's a kid. And I was like, yeah, he is a kid, you know, but I want him to know. I want him to know what, what's right and what's wrong. And he should know by this time in his life. But sometimes right if, if his hormones might have been a little off for a, a day or two, because it happens to everybody, right? Yeah. You may, maybe you might have been, you might have been a little nicer about it. And John's a nice guy, man. I'm telling you, you would think it was the other way around, but this is the good cop. I'm the bad cop. That's fine. I don't mind being the bad cop. But, you know, when he does play bad cop, it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's yeah. happening? Yeah. What did I do? Who did I murder? <laughs> you know? So this is why, you know, I really like dogs because they just, they love you no matter what. They come back. Unconditional. You can, you can be, you can be upset. Me, it's, it is. Yeah. It's unconditional love, you yeah. know? And then they just, they'll go away and they'll come right back. It doesn't matter what you do. They'll just always come right back yeah. and give you a lick. It's true. I'm like, wow. Animals are awesome in that light, man. Yeah, most, I, like, most I, like animals, a, I like a dog. Especially dogs are very, very forgiving. I like dogs. I'm allergic to cats, but I like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's just something, and like I said, like you know, it's something that you should get checked out, and whether you know it's thirty or late twenties or in your forties or fifties, right? And you're feeling off in some way, shape, or form. You feel like things could be better. You know, you might be, you know, having depressional thoughts, and nothing around you is depressing. Mm -hmm. I mean, people look at this all the time and they're like, "Why am I depressed?" You know, I have all these good things going for me, but I'm still not happy. Yeah. So there's something that you're missing or, you know, something that could be off, you know, inside your body. And the best thing to do is to check. 
and blood work is obviously the best way and method to find out about these hormones and different things that are going on inside your body, mm -hmm. right? And that's one thing that we do here at Type Medical Center that we do help a lot of couples out with. And we don't like to, you know, push ourselves on this as far as for therapies or services, but we think this is important enough oh, sure. to bring up in this episode where we can help people out there that might not know or might not know where to go for, for this help. And um, For the record, yeah. Titan Medical Center is not a gym. Titan Medical Center. We're medical center. Yes. <laughs> Let me just put this out there. I don't know why people come up to us and ask us that. I mean, we wear gym clothes sometimes. I mean, I honestly don't wear that many gym clothes, but I mean, there's people that wear gym clothes <laughs> with tank tops and it has tight on it, you know, just because we like shirts and stuff. But of course. there's a lot of other things we do. But of this course. is one of the big things we do. This is the game changer for me when we open this business yeah. because I've had endometriosis since I was 16 years old. I've had five laparoscopies, yeah. five where they went in, burnt it all out, came all back, burnt it all out, came back. And surgeries are not fun, okay? Mm -hmm especially when they're going in there and burning things off per yeah. se, and they can only see 10% of it anyway. But for all these years, okay, so we opened up Titan, nobody saw that I had a high estrogen. Come to find out the high estrogen is what has been fueling the endometriosis. Yeah. Wow, yeah. what do you know? Yeah. I had to put this together. Me and John yeah. put this together and yeah. piece it together like a little puzzle and then go into all the doctors that I've been seeing that have been, you know, running up my insurance for the laparoscopies and all the anesthesia and everything else they did all in there. Recovery, all the <laughs> everything else they did in there. And I'm going in there saying, hey, listen, you know, I got five scars in my midsection because you guys went in, but why didn't we ever check this? Mm -hmm. I mean, would I have had five surgeries if mm -hmm. we checked this before? You know, and then come to find out, you know, people out there that have PCOS, same thing. Yep. You need some progesterone. Progesterone yep. helps calm it down. Yep. You know, it's like, it's really important. I, I gotta, I've gotta make sure I tell you guys about it because it's important. It yep. really is. And it's just, especially when you don't feel good. Like if you generally just don't feel good, there has to be something else that's going on mm -hmm. outside of just your maybe post COVID that you might be blaming it on or whatever it is you're blaming it on, not getting enough sleep, previous, whatever. I mean, people are making excuses nowadays, you know, yeah. like I just, uh, just, I guess it's just how I feel. Be surprised, you fix it and then you feel so much better and That's you're right. like, wow. Th so this is normal. Yes. This is what normal feels like. Yes. I mean, for a minute I was thinking, I was like, I'm not really crazy. I'm like, I am freaking on John over like the stupidest things. And he is the most patient man I have ever met in my life. Yeah. But thank goodness for that. We are here. <laughs> Don't let the medical gaslighting go on. Medical gaslighting yep. is when somebody goes into their practitioner and tells them they have these issues and the practitioner doesn't really look into it. Mm -hmm. It just kind of blows off the issues that are going on and say, this is just normal. You're gonna have to live with it. Okay. Yeah. So the true way to find out about your hormones is the blood test. Tight Medical Center can help you guys out with that. And catch us every week here on ABC, 11 a.m. on Sundays. If you guys miss it, don't worry, you guys can DVR it. And if you miss it there, don't worry, YouTube's got your back. Type in Tight Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all notification bell. You'll just get to see me and Sharice and a lot more cool content from Tight Medical Center. So we appreciate you guys. Join us every Sunday, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. See you then.